Today I'm going to show you the power of the shift key in Logic Pro. So the first tip I'm going to show you is how to move your playhead quickly and play from a certain section. So normally what you have to do, you have to go over here, click where you want, and then hit the space bar. But instead, you could just hold down the shift key, double click where you want to play from, and play like that. It takes one extra step from hitting the spacebar out of the equation, but it makes things a little bit faster. So the next tip I wanna show you is if you're using the mixer window over here and it gets a little bit crowded, if you will, and you wanna find out where, for instance, say this bus 15 is, and you don't wanna look through all the tracks because it takes time, all you gotta do is shift click that bus and Logic will just give this little box around that track of where you need to go and you there. So let's do that with bus number nine, shift click, and here it is right over here. And there's bus two. Just a really easy way to identify where your buses are in a busy mix. For the third tip, if you use a lot of Logic plugins and you sort of browse through the presets quite a bit, here's an easy way to go through that without even opening up the plugin. Let's say I wanna see all the presets for this linear EQ right over here. All I gotta do is hold down the shift key, click, and it'll load up all of the presets right here for that EQ. I could go to the ad limiter, and here are all the presets for the ad limiter right there. So for tip number four, if you wanna select all the regions on a given track, all you gotta do is hold down the shift key and double click on any region in that track, and it'll select all of the regions. So hold down the shift key, double click any region, and all those tracks will be selected on that given track. So for tip number five, I think you're gonna like this one. If you got a bunch of plugins loaded up on your session and you just wanna close them all at once, Typically what you do, you go ahead and you close each one, one by one, right? But that takes a lot of time. So what, instead what you wanna do is hold down the shift key and hit the X on any one of the plugins and all of them will close at once. So once again, have them all open, hold down the shift key, click the X on any one of the plugins and there you go. So for tip number six, if you're anything like me, you work a lot in this inspector tab right over here. Now, if I wanna see what's happening on bus two or nine here, all I have to do is click that it does load it up on the right hand side, except it brings up this menu and things can get confusing. So all you gotta do is hold down the shift key, click the bus that you want to see the effects on, and there it is right here, it pulls it right up to that track. If you wanna see what's happening on the output, shift click the output, and here's the output over here, and back to bus nine, just like that. So tip number seven, I'm gonna show you a really quick way to get all of your MIDI to have the same length. It's really easy. So here's the MIDI right over here. All of them are different lengths. Let's just make sure of that. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select all of the MIDI right here. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and go to the end of any one of these notes here, click and hold and drag, and now they're all the same length. So once again, select all of your MIDI, hold down the shift key, go to any one of these notes here, click and hold, and it'll automatically extend all those notes to be the same length. As a bonus tip, I'm gonna show you how to stretch your notes to hit the next note in line really quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that up for us right over here. Just gonna go ahead and duplicate this all over. So once again, let's say I wanna stretch these notes to hit the next notes in line. That is called forcing the legato or force legato. All you gotta do is hit Command A on your keyboard, hit Shift plus the backspace this time, and that will automatically stretch out all the notes to hit the next note in line. So for tip number eight, here's how you extend your cycle range really quickly. All you gotta do is hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click right here to extend your cycle range. You can also do it for the other way as well. So if you wanna get a certain section, you can just do it like that. So for the next tip, I'm gonna show you how to select multiple tracks in two clicks. So let's say the tracks are in succession and you want to adjust them all together. All you gotta do is select the first one and then the last one in the line, hold down the shift key and all those tracks in between will be selected. So for tip number 10 is a really helpful one because if you've ever been playing along to your beat, you know, trying to figure out a melody and then something good happens and you go back and hit record and you just can't recreate it, well, this got your back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play over here and just randomly play something in the keyboard here. All right, so let's say that was an amazing performance and I realized I didn't hit record and I don't remember what I just played. All you gotta do is hit shift R on your keyboard and it will bring up what you just played right there. And that is called capture MIDI. Really easy, Logic's got your back in case you forget to hit record or forget what you played. If you don't hit play right after you hit stop on your keyboard, 
the last thing that you played will be remembered by Logic. Hit Shift R on your keyboard to bring in that MIDI. All right, so there is the power of the Shift key in Logic Pro. I know there are many more shortcuts that uses the Shift key, but I just want to show you the really quick and easy one that is just basically a Shift and a click or a Shift and another key. Shift is really powerful in Logic Pro. So if you do have any questions on this, we can go and chat in the comment section below. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new in this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Later, peace.